Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Monday here, 27 April, last uh, last week in April. BOJ out in the early hours here. Um, for those of you who are awake, you saw that uh, not much happened. Uh, the range has been 2268. Just having some coffee there. Um, 2268, not too much. Downside looks a little bit more likely than the top side now. But you could have said the opposite of that last week when top side looked much more likely than the downside. This is the daily chart. You can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 days now. Um, basically between, oh, you know, 107 and 108, let's call it. Can't ignore the 106.90 level. Will be awkward today if it goes, but such is life in FX. Usually the awkward ones are the ones that pay, so keep an eye on that. Golden week next week, so reduced liquidity um, in Asia. A lot of things point to downside. I've read like 10 different research pieces about the BOJ, and I got sort of like seven different ideas about what the hell's going on I don't pretend to know uh, so we're gonna lean on price uh, versus story here I don't really understand the story of course the QE story my main QE story in the US uh, helps me to lean on downside dollar yen but we're just leaning on price here I don't know what the story is um, few things uh, bandied about big Bloomberg opinion piece about NERP negative interest rates in the US are they gonna go negative um, this idea is kinda percolating around I don't know if they're going to I don't think they are uh, but they could they could take things negative which would be a real shock to Americans of course here in Switzerland where they've been close to negative 1% for I don't know, for years, I can't even remember when it started, um, we're used to it, it would be a big shock in America, and I think the dollar would get, get hit pretty hard if they did go negative, um, so let's keep an eye on this story, again, just stylistically, I don't think America would take interest rates negative, it causes a whole host of problems, um, with fixed income, with pension funds with banks and then also crucifies savers uh, of course America is not really known for savings so it doesn't crucify them as much but um, anyway something to watch here um, will America take rates negative as far as the charts in today's action Aussies on the frontal lobe here um, some of my colleagues pointed this out last week. Uh, these guys are often smarter than me. Uh, that Australia would be the first country sort of fully back to work. And if you're just going to make the bet, let's buy the currency where they're fully back and let's sell the currency where they're going to be the last to be fully backed. You could argue that Aussie is uh, a good proxy for this. What to sell it against? I don't know. Uh, we're just looking at Aussie dollar here. This has cleared the 64.40 highs. We're sitting here at 50, uh, up almost a percent on the day. So if you're in on this now, you're a little bit late. Um, Aussie yen is in, is approaching interesting numbers, although this doesn't exactly dovetail with dollar yen downside. So be careful of this, and there should be um, extreme selling at 70 cents in Aussie yen. Um, big big resistance there. So I'm not sure that's the horse, um, but Aussie looks looks robust uh, for the moment. I, I would not buy high ones. I would more uh, think about buying low ones, um, or even better, wait for it to print low ones, and then buy through the highs later in the week. Uh, Aussie dollar buy through the 55 highs later in the week. Um, 
or moderately um, bullish Aussie and we have a tiny long position so we're, we, we have some flexibility to do some stuff with this we're still not super clear what we're gonna do so but just want to highlight Aussies in the crosshairs today dollar Swiss our old friend lower um, one of the three stooges right short dollar Swiss short dollar Norway long gold um, this is sort of the QE trade and came off pretty hard tactical book did not get involved with this the uh, directional book is short as everybody knows um, today I think we're gonna make this new daily low so what are we gonna do we might want to sell between 25 and 60 in the tactical book um, we'll see I'm not gonna chase this um, tactically but dollar Swiss looks like it's turned euro dollar also this is reacting to a number of things Italy did not get downgraded on Friday some rumors about negative rates in the States uh, and also month-end flows look, look to be euro positive uh, this month so a few things working in the euro f uh, in favor of the euro here we're dead smack in the middle of the range um, we're not super keen on trading euros at the moment there's a lot of push and pull between a lot of different forces um, but euro is creeping higher today and, and we have a feeling it's going to creep higher and we're going to maybe trade up to 109.20 this week especially into month end dollars are uh, usual tactics try and buy low ones try and sell the czar um, country screwed like we said, Aussie Yen is now triple top here, 69.25. Uh, even if you don't believe in this and don't believe in risk on, there might be a break trade in that. Uh, low risk, high reward uh, type of trade. Although it does not really dovetail with the story. Dollar Yen we talked about, 106.90, super important. Gold as usual fucking hard down to 25 this is the futures obviously down to 25 I'm not sure where to buy it um, really not sure try and be long gold if you can if you're a better trader than I am go ahead and get long long gold um, just don't know what to do with that or I don't know how to express a long position safely with good risk reward and so even if you have a strong feeling on direction if you can't express a trade safely you, you can't trade it uh, here we are yes will we uh, revisit these 2885 highs undoubtedly yes um, I think we will 60 has been the high so far today um, gets really scary between uh, this next hundred handles between 29 and 30 for me not scary this we're looking for a turn here um, looks very very interesting uh, as a place to turn we shall see in order for it to turn you really need oil to uh, get off its knees um, which it's not doing looked very bid last week got up to this 18 10 area a couple times bang that back down to 50 and 40 um, what's kind of fun about oil is it moves 10% every day which is just kind of fun trades like a stock now trades like a penny stock more than a uh, global commodity uh, that makes it fun dollar Norway we all know where we stand on this try and sell high ones sit with your shorts um, I wouldn't sell low ones in dollar Norway so you just want to if you're if you've been with us on this, uh, you sold high 70s you, in the tactical book, you can buy those back. We've already squared those in the tactical book. Um, the long-term book is still short uh, from the 1150 area. So we're just sitting short dollar Norway. We think this is going to go to 950. One of the reasons I mention it every day is, is for my own good, right? I'm reminding myself what the strategy is. Got to stick with it. Uh, this is like half the reason for these videos they're anchors it's an anchor for me for my day and for my trading um, if you guys benefit great uh, but I 
care much less about you than you think. So um, that is what it is. Boons, we want to sell high ones, but it's not really doing too much. Um, this is a reflection of, of also this is a reflection of where Italy is in the EU and negotiations. So there's a lot of sort of boond BTP flows. You want to sell high ones and boons, but you want to be careful, right? Because the boon BTP flows can be quite vicious. You see BTP squeezed. Italy did not get downgraded. BTPs are just a sell. Um, you could just never be long BTPs. It's not going to end well. Um, fixed income in Italy is not going to end well. So, But be patient now. You can see it's turned here, and you can see this stuff rips. So you can sell this probably between 141 and 145. Anyway, I feel like I'm talking just for talking's sake here. Dollar yen downside we're looking at. Aussie top side we're looking at. We have an eye on this Aussie yen level technically. Though if dollar yen does go lower, it's hard to see Aussie yen blowing out. Um, stocks look bid, so keep an eye on that. And euro dollar also looks bid. We got month end flows this week, so there's something to embed into your strategy. I've said enough now. Good luck today, traders. I will uh, see you all tomorrow. Ciao.